Hiya folks, thanks for joining me in this tag video today. Uh, I have my the fortune teller collection that I designed for 7 Dot Studio, and I've trimmed out two tags using the Sizzix number 8 Tim Holtz tag die. I have trimmed a, like about an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch all the way around the corners of the um of the lacy tan colored one so that the turquoise one, the teal, could become a border. Right here I've got a Viva Las Vegas stamp stamp and some black soot archival ink and I am just doing some stamping in the background, very light and uh, just to add a little bit of texture. I'm going to use Yuhu, which is um, a really great mixed media uh, glue stick to glue the two tags together. And uh, if you go around all the edges of the tag that you want to be smaller, um, just using whether it's scissors or a paper trimmer, um, and you go the exact same width, it's really easy to line those tags back up just using the hole that's die cut at the top. I have these wings from Unwild Studio, and they're kind of a scrap that's been sitting around on my table I had been playing with, so they have some blue deco foil on them. And then this is some uh, titanium white golden fluid acrylic by Golden, and I guess I said that, golden fluid acrylic. Uh, I added a tiny bit of water to just make it a, just a little bit more fluid, and then I splattered it on my tag base. I use a heat gun to start drying it, and then what it does is it dries around the edges, and I can pick up the paint while it's still wet from the middle, and I get these kind of cool open splatters. It's um, kind of a technique I just picked up pretty recently, and I feel like I've kind of probably been using it on everything, but I really like it, so I hope you do too. Uh, my splatters were looking a little linear, so I decided to drop in a couple bigger ones to help spread some, spread some of the splatters out, and then you can also see the technique a bit better that way too. Now I've got out some soft matte gel by Finnebear and Prima from the Art Basics line and I'm using a palette knife to put some into a little cup and I've got Finnebear's glass glitter in the gold color and it's it's a really nice and mild gold. It's kind of vintagey and antique and I really love it. I also love the chunkiness of the glass glitter. It's so so retro and just a very cool uh, very cool product. I'm using an Umwell Studio stencil and my palette knife to scrape that new mixture through and uh, to create some kind of fun, they're like Moroccan tiles in the background and the top left and the bottom right sides. Just one more thing that I'm building in the background with. I use my heat gun to start to dry it and then I just leave this overnight to dry on its own. Oh, before I completely, before I dried it over the surface, I did sprinkle a little bit of the glass glitter on top too because sometimes the glitter loses a little bit of its shininess when it's mixed into a medium and by sprinkling some on top I kind of like re-amplify the, the glitteriness that it has. And then I let that dry overnight because I didn't want to mess with the chemical makeup that the that the products have. Sometimes when you add too much heat to them, they'll bubble or they'll warp or sometimes they'll burn. And so I just let those dry by themselves. Then I got out some uh, Prima Bloom Spray. I believe this is the leather color and I splattered that in the background. And these, these are my favorite. These are the big rusty stars from Finnebear and Prima. And I'm using some Prima Twine in this gorgeous teal color. I'm going to wrap the two together and and honestly I guess you like you do you you live and you learn right so I kept going and I kept struggling and I do end up finding a little piece of wire to help me thread this this twine through because it's kind of like kind of like a baker's twine but in a jute form so it's very thin but it has a lot of fibers so that middle hole gets full really easily um and also I should have kind of reinforced the stars with a little bit of glue because even 
putting them together like that, they're still a bit wobbly, but, but I kind of get it all in place here. Um, I put down some coconut fronds, some fiber, not fronds, fibers, coconut fibers, and uh, I'm going to use the matte medium now to kind of layer everything together. And this is the soft, I called it matte medium, I'm sorry, but it's the soft gel. So it's similar to matte medium, but it still has a nice thickness to it, and I can use it as a great adhesive here. And it dries matte, so it's not going to compete with any of the things I have going on if it happens to get out from underneath some of my pieces. So I put down the the coconut fibers and then I put down the Umwell Studio wings and those are the ones that have the deco foil on them and then I put down my stars and because I wrapped my stars in the, with the fiber with the twine the matte medium oh god I keep calling it matte medium I'm sorry the soft gel can soak into the the fibers the twine that wrapped up the stars can soak into the chipboard, can soak into the coconut fibers and the paper, and then everything's really going to be like nice and adhere together and become a super solid piece. Um, I did need to put a little bit of chipboard reinforcements underneath the bottom of the stars just so that they didn't kind of sink down to the paper and they had the same um, thickness behind them as the top of the star got from the wings. Then I got out the matching sentiments that go to the fortune teller line. I had a lot of fun designing this line. I love the teals and the tans and how they all work together. It's really fun and especially the line itself actually has a bit of, of rusty orange in it too. I avoided it because I have it in the stars on this, but it would be a great complement to this piece. Um, then this is a piece of muslin that I have ripped. I always tear my muslin so that it gets these kind of sketchy edges. Very fun and very cool. And I'm using that sentiment, Live Inspired, and I have put it on the muslin and then sewn it onto the tag. And that's it. So thanks so much for, oh, I'm sorry, I guess that's not it. Um, I am going to put a little star right in the middle. The The star layers looked unfinished, but I'm just going to use the, the soft gel to glue him in. All right, thanks so much for joining me. I'm really excited to have been here for the Finna Bear uh, guest design spot, and I hope you'll find me and follow me, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or find me on Facebook, and uh, I'll be glad to connect with you. Thanks so much to Anna and Tusia for having me.